You know what? Linux really sucks. As a monolithic kernel, it is an inferior design to something like a microkernel design or even a hybrid kernel, which is basically a mixture of both a microkernel and a monolithic kernel. The Linux kernel is a monolithic kernel, and that means that it's bad. There was a time when the GNU operating system was developed when they had their own kernel heard under development and there was no Linux then just yet. Unfortunately, the development was really slow and all that, so the heard kernel didn't end up becoming that big of a thing. Instead, the Linux kernel became successful. Now, someone might interpret this as that the Linux kernel is of course better because the herd couldn't get finished, but here's the thing. Because the Linux kernel is a monolithic design, it is easier and faster to develop than a microkernel design. But we are left with a worse result for it. So, although it may be faster to develop, it doesn't yield as good of a result as what a microkernel architecture would have resulted in. See, the devil sells you on the short term, but fucks you over on the long term. So, what's so bad about the mo I mean, the monolithic design? Well, of course, the big issue with it is that it's a massive bloat. It specifically because all the drivers need to be included in the monolithic kernel it it keeps growing every time you add new drivers to it every time there is a new hardware that is released that requires a new driver the kernel must grow each new release is bigger and bigger and it keeps on growing and that's of course bad whereas a microkernel design can dynamically load whatever drivers it needs. The microkernel itself would be really small and it would never need to grow beyond whatever, whatever features the kernel itself needs. So it wouldn't grow every time a new driver is added because the driver wouldn't be loaded unless it's needed. The kernel can basically dynamically load whatever it needs. So on different hardwares, on different hardware setups, you can just load the drivers you need. You don't need to even compile the kernel for each specific hardware to get the specific drivers. You just use the same kernel on all hardwares and then you just load the load the modules that you need. So that's a superior design. It is inherently better. If the Linux kernel wasn't made and the GNU herd kernel would have become the main kernel of the usable GNU operating system, then the world might be a better place. Yes, there are other benefits to having a microkernel, such as of course the fact that everything is running, all the drivers are running in user space, which means that of course things like malware and other such things would be less harmful because they are running in user space. The kernel, the microkernel itself would only grant the privileges the programs need specifically to communicate with whatever hardware it needs to communicate and all that. But I'm not gonna get into the technicalities, that's just a simplification. Anyway, the idea is that it would be safer and of course another benefit to drivers running in user spaces that if something crashes it can be restarted of course so there's no need to shut down the computer and then restart it just restart the specific driver that failed yeah there are many benefits such as that yeah the linux kernel really does suck 
Oh, and also, uh, the Google now is developing that Fuchsia operating system of theirs. And that's, of course, using a microkernel design. In fact, it seems to be one of their primary uh, reasons for having that operating system, because they apparently want that operating system to be usable on all devices. Specifically for that reason that I talked of, how the kernel, the same kernel can be used on different hardware setups, and the system can dynamically load whatever it needs, so the kernel wouldn't be that big. But if GNU heard was the kernel that was used in the GNU operating system distributions, the widely used distributions, then there might not be any need for such operating systems as the Fuchsia, of course. Also, by the way, the name of the kernel of the Fuchsia operating system is Zircon. And also, this is an interesting, not that relevant thing, but I might also add that one does wonder what might happen if someone makes the GNU operating system run on the Zircon kernel. Basically, like, both GNU herd and the Zircon being monolithic, I mean, microkernel designs, that would be pretty strange. Sort of, Zircon could, like, replace herd in that sense. That's bizarre. But anyway, just some random comment. Yeah. Linux kernel is really bad. Even just a hybrid design would have been better. Even, oper even other operating systems like macOS have hybrid designs. Like monolithic design, it's like a really ancient, bad way to do a kernel. Ay ay ay. Yeah. Andrew Tannenbaum. Andrew S. Tonnenbaum was right. Yeah. And Linus Torvalds wrong. 